Hey, welcome to the vlog. We are in the world, but not of it. I feel as Christians, we have this unspoken perception that as soon as we become saved, we transcend earth status and no longer part of the earth anymore. We are like just floating around the outskirts, the outer rim, and we're just looking down on earth because we are all different. But if we're honest, when we became saved, we had this moment where we were filled with total glee and excitement but then we were faced with the reality that we had to go back into our regular world whether we were a tradesman, a doctor or a desk clerk and I feel God deliberately did this caused us to still be in this earth after we are saved for a reason we need to influence the earth we need to be part of the world don't get me wrong I'm not saying for us to indulge in the things of the world but we need to be a part of the world in order for us to influence the world. And of course, we stay away from things that are worldly. And I say again, worldliness is not always what we think it is. Based on 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, it's the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and pride of life. Sin, basically. So we need to stay away from sin and the systems that encourage sin. But we still need to be parts of the world. And this doesn't necessarily mean staying away from fashion trends and the things that are trending and current in the world. It simply means staying away from sin. And this misconception that we have often has us in a state where we have very polarized points of view. So instead of becoming chosen by God and staying in the earth to cultivate it for him, we end up staying in our corner a little way out of the distance and we don't affect the earth as we should. We become so heavily minded that we are of no earthly good. We do just like Jesus' followers. We stare at him ascending into heaven when what he wants is for us to stay focused on the earth and do our job. So an overhaul of perception is really needed. No longer are we to lambaste the secular artists as if you know God didn't plan to save them in the first place. No longer are we to separate ourselves strictly from people who don't agree with our godly principles and standards but instead we should deliberately choose to influence these people using the word of god as our ruler and sin as the line that we do not cross let me tell you a little secret you cannot influence a group if you treat them as outcasts you have to tell them good morning. You have to buy stuff from their stores. You have to interact with them on a regular basis, even though you don't agree with everything that they believe in. We have to seek to stay away from the world rather than the people in the world. And of course, there are some people that we simply need to avoid because they will influence us incorrectly and simply our association with them may cause problems with believers who are weaker in the faith but at the same time it doesn't mean that we stay away from them totally and not do things we need to open up our minds a bit more to the world and that would in turn open up doors for us to influence the world we can't be so close-minded so what are some areas of influence that you have been neglecting think about it see you in the next one